This lesson is an introduction to line as an element of art, one of the building blocks of art. Also, you're going to practice some hand exercises to get your hand tuned up and sharp. So follow along with the video and pause as you need to follow along. Line is one of the fundamental elements or building blocks of art. You have a point on your pencil and your point makes a path. That's a line, the path of a point. Line has a variety of characteristics to it direction. You can have a line that's horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. These move your eye. A horizontal line will seem restful. Vertical lines drive your eye up and down. Diagonal lines are considered the most dynamic. Lines can be curving, they can be dotted, they can be scribbly. There's all kinds of lines. You can also take a line and close the path of that line, and then you have a shape. And a line can form an edge or a boundary. I could say this is a little landscape. There's the, the sky and the land. I can make the contours or the edges of some mountains. I can have two lines that go together to a point in the distance and it gives me the sense of perspective, linear perspective or making space with lines. You can also wrap lines around a shape to make a form. There's all kinds of lines. Line can also be said to have a weight. It could be thin or thick. I can press harder, especially with a pencil, get a thicker line or I can lighten my pressure and get a thin line. You can start thin and then press harder and get a thick line. Try doing that a little bit with your pencil too, just to see how you could vary your line weight, thin to thick. You can alternate, just try that. You're going to do some exercises to warm up your hand and just get comfortable with your pencil and with the paper. Now we're going to do some practice, just warm up your hand. So I'm going to do sets of lines. I'm going to try to draw straight lines. I'm going to start kind of short. Okay, I have to get where my hand's comfortable and not resting on the table. I'm going to look back and forth, and then I'm just going to go straight as I can to that point. And then I'm going to go over it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to do another one the same length. One, two, three, four, five. It's kind of just like push-ups or some kind of workout. Oops. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, just practice making straight lines. Just get comfortable with that. If you look at people who draw all the time, their hand is really sharp. Calligraphers just do practicing. Artists draw all the time. To be honest, I'm a bit rusty myself. Two, three, four, five. Try doing three sets of five, each with five repeats on them. The longer you go, the harder it's gonna to be to maintain a straight line. So try to find a comfortable position with your body. Oops, don't be hard on yourself. If you mess up, it's really just about practicing and getting better. Here's another exercise to try. Make a whole bunch of dots and then just practice making straight line segments between them. This is sped up. Just watch it and then do it at your own pace. After, you can add a dot if you need to. Practice making straight lines. You could do triangles, you could do squares. It's just more free form connecting points to make a line, okay? It's all about just practicing and getting comfortable right now. So pause and try that and then I'll tell you what to do next. Now you're gonna try hatching into these shapes. So when you do a bunch of different lines together, they make a what's called a tone or a value, a gray. Hatching is just a collection of straight lines that are parallel to each other. You can try 
varying your pressure so you get a different line weight. The harder you press, the darker line you get. You can try kind of flicking your pencil so you don't continue all the way across so you get a dark to light value. You're just making more lines just to tune up your hand and sharpen it up and get warmed up. Okay, so you can watch this also and then pause. You'll notice that the planes or the, the faces of this seem to go in and out as you make some darker and some lighter. Don't overthink it though. You don't have to make it look like a form. You can just practice your lines. So pause here and go ahead and finish that exercise. Okay, now we're gonna try drawing some circles. So make a set of five spaces. So I, I drew lines. Each time I drew a little bit farther apart. And then I'm gonna fill those spaces with circles. So I'm gonna do the same thing, just kind of do a practice air circle and then I'll put my pencil down when I feel confident. I try to make evenly spaced circles in that space. And just start out really light and then I drop my pencil when I feel ready with my motion. It's the same as with the short and long lines. You'll notice, that, at least for me, the bigger I go, the trickier it is. So I start light and then I drop my pencil. And you can just fill those spaces. You all just kind of work out, get your hand moving. If you see people who do beautiful line, there are people who do it all the time. So their hand is always in shape. It really makes a difference. So keep practicing. Do five sets of circles, each set bigger than the last. It does get more challenging as the circles get bigger. Try air drawing first before you set your pencil down. Submit a photograph of your practice exercises for credit and just Remember, practice is what gets us better, just like anything else. The more you do it, the better you get.